There is a brand new AI tool from the company Perplexity. The AI search engine is called Perplexity Pages, and it might completely change how you write content. Let me just briefly show you how it works, and then I'll dive a bit deeper. But all you have to do is type what you want your page to be about. Okay, let's say I'm gonna write about history of AI here. That's all I have to type in. And look at what this does here in real time is creating a table of content right here on the right side. And with each section, it's giving us a heading and it's writing each section. I'm gonna show you some of these editing tools in a second that he has. And then it's gonna continue going down the list here. And on top here, it picked an image for us. This is a royalty free image it found, but you could use AI to generate your own tool. I'll show you that in a second. And as I keep going, you could see each section is gonna just write here in real time. And when you get to the bottom of it, it's gonna actually let you keep going and add a new section here just by giving it a prompt. And it's gonna suggest different prompts that you could add like early AI and robotics. I could just click on that. It's added a new section. You see, I have five different sections now and I could go ahead and continue to write this. So let me show you exactly how to get here. If you sign into your Perplexity account, and if you're not familiar with it, this is an AI search engine. So typically I use Perplexity and I have a paid version, but you could use it completely for free. But all I was doing before is on the homepage, I would just ask anything that required internet search. So if I just looked up history of AI, and this is basically how Perplexity gives you answers. So it's gonna give you an answer like this, and it's gonna be more conversational, and it's gonna give you little sources here that you could click on to go directly there. It's gonna give you some images, it's gonna pull up and all your links are gonna show up over here. So a really great search tool. But now in the library tab right here, if you press the plus sign, there's this thing called page. And this is the perplexity pages that I showed you. And if you don't have it yet, this is just rolling out right now and they're slowly rolling it out to all accounts. But right here, you could go ahead and type in what you want this to write about. And then right over here, which is a useful option, is you could choose your target audience. So is this for anyone to understand? Is it for beginners or is it for subject matter experts here? So if I was writing about AI for experts, it's gonna write in a whole different tone than if I was writing for anybody. And here, let me do a little history, see what it comes up with. Okay, so I finished the four sections. So let me show you some of these editing options. One option is it's gonna always choose an image here and you could go ahead and just drag it to resize it here. So it looks like you actually pulled this from a YouTube video, but I'm gonna go ahead and change it. And it's gonna pull up a bunch of different images here that you could choose. So you could choose any of them and resize them like this. But what's really cool is you could go ahead and generate images from this page right here. And it's gonna use some of these references to create it. So I'm gonna choose a photographic style. This way I know it doesn't have any kind of copyright issues or anything, although I think these are just from on Splash, which is royalty free. But if you want an AI generated image, you could also do that. It looks like this time it's using Dolly 3 because I have the pro version, the free version is not gonna probably use Dolly 3 here. So if you wanted to use this one, you can. In this case, it didn't do a great job, so I'll just use this Unsplash one. The first thing I could do is I could change the layout. So if I just want a small image instead of that big one, or if I want no image at all, I could go ahead and change it that way. And then if I go down a little bit later, with each section, I could add media. If I just click here, it automatically finds something that works and it added it just like this. Again, I could change it. Again, I could upload my own even. I could search here. I could go ahead and generate any in different styles that are available. You could go ahead and click this also to get a custom prompt here if you wanna use a different third-party tool. And with each section too, you could see sometimes it creates this kind of layout, which looks really nice. You have the edit option right here. So you could actually change how it looks. So if I want just text, or in this case, let's get a table and let's make it more detailed. So five good emperors, let's see if it's gonna create a table. Again, I'm not giving it any prompt. I jump, I'm just clicking on the options it has. And everything else previous to this is staying there. I'm just changing each section one at a time. And look at this, it kept the image. The formatting looks great. It's creating a table for us of the five good emperors, fantastic. And if you don't like a section under the more tab, you could delete a section, you can move up a section. Again, if you wanna add a section, this is the part that 
you have all these options as before. So if you want image, it's gonna give you some, again, some options over here. So I'll choose this one. And here we got ourselves a new section. And you could also go in between sections here and insert a section. And then you could give it a prompt here to fill in between two sections if you feel like information is missing. And it's gonna know the context from before and after. So it's gonna give you some relevant suggestions that you could just press right here. And then it's gonna use that as the prompt. Again, make sure you choose anything. If you want the detailed option, it's gonna give you a longer piece than the concise option. And let's say I'm done with this. I'm gonna go ahead and publish it. So right over here, you could press publish. It's going to create a link that's already copied or you could copy the link from here. And if I open it in a new window, this is what it looks like, right? But it doesn't have to be my accounts. Let me actually show you this link in a incognito window. And here it is in incognito mode. And look at this fantastic formatting right here. It's going to show you when it was last published. It's going to show you how many views it has. It only has two, me creating it, someone watching it. It's going to put your account's name right here. And what's fantastic about this is anybody could ask it a follow-up question right down here. So they could interact with it and they could start their own thread from here. And this is going to use the regular perplexity search. And as you could see, I asked for a one sentence recap of that very specific page. So you could share all your information with someone, totally edit it, and then they could take it from there and have an interaction with it here inside of perplexity. They're going to get related searches and they have the follow up box where they could ask any questions. Another thing that's really useful is you could select a portion. So let's say I want to learn more about this. You could select that and ask a follow up and it's going to actually use just that portion or whatever you selected to create this follow up, which is going to use the search inside of the regular perplexity that we've had before and pull up everything specific to that. And then I could just go back. Let's say I was done with the search. My library is still going to have that paper over here that we created or page. So then I could select this portion of it, maybe ask a follow up and so on. And here's the one they published that actually pulled in a lot more sources. So you could see the sources from where it's getting the information are going to show up over here. And then the bottom of each section, it looks like it's giving a nice sources recap here and you could go ahead and copy a link to individual sections too you don't have to actually link the whole article over here and i mean this is just kind of fantastic how fast this kind of research would take days right <laughs> and it just did it in minutes i also have a complete perplexity walkthrough for complete beginners so that's going to show you all the other things that perplexity also offers like collections and threads so i'll link that here as well thanks so much for watching I'll see you next time.